Good morning. We are going to do just some simple stuff this morning. I already moisturized with the Age Reversist Rich Moisturizer. And I put my primer on and let that sit. I don't look as tired this morning. Hey, Mo. Don't stay for some reason. Okay, let's see. Let's start with um, some concealer in the shade Light Ivory. Now my hands are slick because of the primer. Actually, let's do some CC cream first. So I got CC cream in the shade Light 01. Shake that up. I got my hair cut yesterday and like I don't know what's going on here. That's a little aggravating. Should probably just pin it up. But I got like freshly washed hair. I'm gonna use Lange products. So I put that in. And then um some dry shampoo. I have to end up having to fix it. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Gonna cover up this skin of mine. I like my sweet tunes. It's so quiet. I don't even think my TV's on right now. I'm just using the CC cream. This is just going to even out my skin tone. It's not going to do much for coverage. Like, um, I mean, it does cover. I don't know. It does for me. It covers any dark spots or blemishes or anything like that. My bags and all that stuff. But it's a color corrector is what a CC cream is. crazy. I think stuff's like 12 bucks. 12.90. 14.90 maybe. I can color match you. This stuff is so easy to color match. All these products are. I need to clean my kabuki. I think we might just use our fingers again today. <laughs> And just really, really easy. I might be on too early. This stuff just glides right on. Especially since I have the primer on. So easy. See, it didn't take me no time. My hands are clean. So I don't mind using my hands to blend it. <laughs> Look at that. I'm a whole new person, y'all. I 
I love it. It just evens everything out. You can't even see my bags. I'm still going to use concealer though. So it dries so quickly. You don't have to worry about anything. Get my mirror out. It's all even. It's not cakey. It's not a ton of anything. It feels like there's literally nothing on my skin right now. Blend it up to the hairline. Hey, mom. Hey, Kim. Good morning. I used the Age Reversist Moisturizer, the VFX Pro Primer, which is a dupe for Smashbox, the CC Cream, Light 01. I just used my hands. My hands are clean, so I just used it and blended it all in. What are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, concealer. So I evened out my skin tone. You can't even see my bags. I didn't have to color correct or anything. This is just CC cream. It's literally a miracle worker. So now we're going to eat. Oh, that is definitely not concealer. That is chapstick. Okay. So now I have my full coverage liquid concealer. It's in the shade 03 Light Ivory. Just shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. This stuff is so easy to use, you guys. I'm just going to... You don't need a lot of it. I'm just going to do it like that. Take the excess off. Just kind of like pull it down in a V shape. What it's going to do is it's going to cover anything that the CC cream didn't correct, and then it's also going to um, brighten the under eye. I'm going to get my beauty blender. This one is dry. I usually use it damp, but that's okay. It still works just the same with this because it is a liquid. Look at that. It just blends so well. You blend down and up. You're just pressing it in. You don't want to swipe. You don't want to rub it in because it's not going to set right and it can tend to crease. You just pat it in. Actually, I don't rub it in anyway, but I haven't had any problems with this creasing. I really think this one would be a dupe for the Shape Tape. All of these products rival Sephora and Ulta, for sure. With um, more affordable pricing and better quality. Cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, Great for sensitive skin. And this is like, this is just the CC cream. And it's helped tremendously already. Okay, so that's starting to dry. And it matches perfectly. Hey, Jen. Good morning. So, there you go. So we're going to let that, that's pretty much dry. We're just going to give it a minute. And then I'm going to use the Face Perfecting Pressed Powder in the shade 02 Warm Light. And this is going to set any of the CC cream. Hey Missy. This is going to set CC cream. 
so that it lasts. I mean, it's going to last all day anyway, but I'm just like a stickler for a really matte foundation. So we're going to use this. So I like the little sponge that comes with it. I'm going to actually get like some cosmetic sponges just because I like a fuller coverage. This is a foundation, so you can use this by itself as well with just the primer. But I'm going to use it with my CC cream. So what I'm going to do is because I have that concealer here, I'm just going to start right underneath where I put that concealer. And I'm just going to start building that coverage up. You can use a big fluffy brush if you want to but I just prefer more precision. I don't have my glasses on you guys, so I'm about to get super close. I haven't been able to wear my contacts, but Jacob and I have a brand new pair of glasses coming today, so pretty excited. have like the comments you can tell that it's already starting to build that coverage up and add a little bit of color to that CC cream really easy hey Heidi So you don't have to have like a ton of brushes. You don't have to have all kinds of like crazy tools and stuff to do a flawless look. You just need good product and you need to um, just figure out your technique, whatever you like. Makeup is a form of art. It's an expression. It's however you want to do it. You like minimal makeup? You like glam makeup? I've made a career out of it. It's legit the best $20 I've ever spent in my life. And I've already made it back. Like, a lot back. So if you're looking for a side hustle, you're looking for a full-time income, this is the way to go. What are we doing now? Let's do the transparent. So that is my neutral medium. It's more white. Where is my... Okay, so here's a transparent finishing powder. So I'm going to I'm just gonna use just a regular little tapered brush and I'm gonna pat it right into the transparent powder and I'm just gonna kind of brush this down. Because the concealer is already dry, it's not going to crease, it's not gonna smear, it's not gonna come off. I'm just gonna do like that. And that's just gonna set that concealer. It's also going to, uh, for me, it brightens my under eye. For some people, it doesn't. But I enjoy using it. I'm gonna add a little bit up here, down the nose. I'm putting a highlight in my order on Friday. I'm putting my bulk order in on Friday because I've had quite a few people ask me just to wait, so I'm going to. Um, but there are um, there are several people going into the bulk order. If you guys want in, it's free shipping. And um, so you can just let me know what items you want. You can PayPal me the balance and then I'll order it and then it'll come here and then I'll send it to you in cute little packages. Okay, so now we're going to use the brow pencil. I'm 
This thing is really, really easy to use. It's really creamy. It goes on so easy. See? That is so easy. Hey, Fred. Really, really easy. And it just fills right in. Like that. I'm going to do the other one with my little mirror. Okay, I need to fix that one a little bit. So I use a spoolie brush. Just brush it through, and then I'll fix it. Super easy, no big deal. My eyebrows are not working with me too well today, but that's okay. I think it's because I didn't sharpen the pencil. Alright, so let's see what else are we going to do. Let's add some bronzer, this big fluffy brush, swirl it into the huge thing of bronzer. Hey, Amber. And we're just going to put that... I'm not contouring, I'm only adding color to my face. So I'm just gonna bring that around. Like that. It still creates a shadow, but it's not as prominent. blend into our temples, into the hairline, like so, and then you want to like blend it out so you don't have a huge line <laughs> across your forehead, like so. This stuff just blends so easily. Okay, and then we're going to add some right here because I have a very defined jaw so we are going to contour that I hope you guys can hear me and create a shadow on this side and then we're going to kind of connect and then just bring it down so you're not wearing a mask oh, you guys are like human again so now I'm going to use, let's use a really small tapered brush. I'm going to dip it in that bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose. So 
this is going to create a shadow. It's going to narrow my nose down, and then once I blend it out, it'll look a whole lot better. <laughs> kind of blend that line down into where your eye is. Really, really simple. Oh, it blends out so well. I love these products. We'll blend it down, tip of our nose. Like so. A little bit more right here. You don't have to be a pro to contour. It just takes practice. Oh, about to stab myself in the nose. Here we go. Hello, smaller nose. Oh, I love it. I think it's the best one yet. Once I get my highlight, I'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and put this. I'm going to use the bronzer today on my eyes. So I'm going to use a little, fl a little fluffy brush. If y'all are on, say hi. So I'm gonna pop that into the crease like so. Y'all don't have to do all this. I just enjoy doing my makeup. If I'm gonna do it, I might as well do all of it. <laughs> Cause I mean, it stays on all day anyway, so I ain't worried. So it's gonna blend. So you can use the bronzer to add color to your face. You can use it to contour. You can use it for eyeshadow. All of these products you can use in multiple ways. Super easy. Super pigmented. Really, really easy to blend, even if you're a beginner. I wouldn't say I'm a beginner, but I'm not like a professional. <laughs> So pretty. I think I might actually take a little bit and just put it right down here under my lash line after I poke myself in the eye. This is going to create depth. And you just pull it up like towards the tail of your brow. Hi, babe. Okay, super easy. So now we are going to. What am I going to do? We're going to add some blush. Somewhere. Okay, I found it. So this is in the shade 01. Tender blush. I want to use. You can use your fingers for this too. I'm going to use a tapered brush. Yeah, I'm just going to use a tapered brush. I'm only going to use the tip of it. Just pop it on right there. See? It just adds color. Mm 
coming it up into your hairline. And then I'm going to use that same big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it all together. Oh, it just blends out so well. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? a 3d mascara this is the only one I've used from pharmacy so far and it rivals the epic I really like this mascara hey Daniel It's just the schedules and everything are just killing me right now I'm trying to like figure out how to like get back into the groove of homework and like chores and all this crazy stuff look at that isn't that pretty I think it's just like 10 bucks, if that. Ugh, never fails. I always poke myself in the eye. So pretty. And it dries pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it together until like the last week of school. <laughs> yeah, this mascara is cheaper than the Epic. And it's better. That's what I need to do. I need to come over and do your makeup again. Because this stuff is way better. There's like, I want to say like five other mascaras, and I want to order all of them. <laughs> nope, no clumping. It doesn't dry out or anything. They actually have one, I'm trying to think of the name of it, it might be the Optimal, but it has the same, the almost identical wand to the Epic, so I think I want to try that one next. My cousin ordered the Zen, and um, she'll get that in like a week, and I'm going to see how she likes it. I just wanted that. It's gonna dry for a minute. Oh, and I got like one spot on me today. I really should bring my dang Q-tips out here. sure everything's good before we use the setting spray because once you use the setting spray there's no going back I'm telling y'all it works just like Urban Decay and it's way cheaper
has some issues. <laughs> on the side of my nose you guys how does that happen I'm the worst when it comes to this but I love mascara let me use this little doohickey Looks like everything is okay. I think I'm gonna fix my eyebrows and then I'll put on my setting spray. So, yeah, I'm gonna fix that and then I'll use the time locker and this stuff will stay all day long until I decide to take it off. So, I'm thinking about doing some more goodie bags. Um, so like, I'm going to see what other samples they have on the website. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put together some goodie bags and, like, maybe some small products and stuff. And, um, like, grab bags. And then I could just sell those. So you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you'll still get, like, the right color and stuff. Like, you'll get sample foundations and stuff. I'm not going to stick you with, like the wrong shade so thank you guys for hanging out with me today i'm gonna go do something before it rains and um yeah um uh, my website is in the com is it in the comments i either linked it to the description or i put it in the comments i don't remember i'll find it but um yeah thank you guys for hanging out with me i'm off to do adult stuff so y'all have a good day